What's up? Hey. Hey Brewsters, I'm back for another tier list and this is going to be um a revised version of the um post patch for the Lawn of Doom update because I feel like I've gotten to play these characters more and let's start with um the zombies actually okay so super brains um i've known that like the should i do it for the november patch or so m my predictions for the november patch it's not out yet i didn't put it predictions just do for yours sir Okay, guys, so this is what I think will be the tier list after the November patch because I haven't played it yet. It's coming out today, but I don't get, I'm don't. i not getting to play it yet. So let's start. So Super Brains has been nerfed in terms of his long-distance punch from 80, per 80 damage to 70, and basically... Um, he got buffed in the melee though, so I feel like he's still like maybe an S or an A because the other abilities remain the same. His insta kill um, projectile, and also there's the spinning, which is still good, so I'm gonna put him at an A. And for and his punches do really good. His um speed of the punches have been reduced, and he can still fly. He can still fly. Um, his abilities are still good because the tornado spin is still the same but just that his long distance punch has been nerfed and his melee is became better because the time between the punches have reduced and yeah that's for super brains and soldier i'm gonna put him also at an a because his bullets um got increased the damage and also the rate of fire but for the november patch nothing has happened to the soldier except just the stink cloud which i mean it does good but like it's not a major part of the soldier he still has the mzpg he has the rocket jump and his um, primary attack still the same, so that's why I'm gonna leave him at an A. So next, scientist, he's also an A. I feel like because um he his bullet damage is really good. He can teleport, which makes him very mobile, and also he has the other attacks that make him really good. And he, his primary is still really good, so I think that's why I put him at an A. Um, Deadbeard, I'll put him at a B, because I feel like he's actually really good with the scurvy scattershot and the sniping, and also the parrot paw has been better. And also his barrel attacks really good, although it got nerfed from Garden Warfare 2. And his scurvy scattershot is still good, so I would consider him still good. Um, so next, I'm going to do the imp. So I think he's a D because he's not good at all because... His health is really bad. His bullets have been slowed down. His imp, um, his imp kata has been nerfed. His gravity grenade has been like severely nerfed because you can actually escape the grenade now. And also his mech form takes so long of a cooldown and also it's not as good as before. So that's why I feel like the imp should be a D.
so for the engineer, I'm gonna put him at an A also because he's not as broken anymore because he's gonna be assessed because um he's gonna be nerfed during the November patch updates. Probably even a B maybe because he's been nerfed severely with the stun and that's a major part of how he's good and also um, although the turrets are still there, he doesn't have the stun anymore, so the turrets won't have time to kill us before he does. So All-Star, he's at um, an A also, because All-Star's really good now. He has the shield that protects everywhere. His rate of fire has been increased. His imp punt is better, it's longer, and also now you can dash forward, and it does even more damage. The knockback is insane. And um, for me, Space Cadets, an S, definitely. She's my main because she has a target lock on, which is really overpowered Um, for his pri her primary. She has, like, the slam, which does, like, 80 or more damage which is, which is really effective for like reducing health of like a citron or just killing a plant in general and also she has like that laser shot that does crazy damage once you land it which is really good for accurate people and also um she has the Oh, she can turn into the space station, which when you join, she becomes super OP, better than the oak even, because you can put a shield up, protect everyone, you can shoot all together, you have like that red laser damage thing, which is super good, and she's definitely an S. Now, 80's action hero. At first, he was really good, but now, comparing him to, like, the other, um, zombies, he's gotten worse, because I feel like he's harder to aim now. He doesn't do as much damage, although, when you, um, get his upgrades, there's one that, like, makes your rocket always lock on, so, like, it's an insta-kill, and that, at that point, he's an S. So, I'm going to put him at an A. Um, so for the last zombie, Electric Side, I just dislike her so much. I'm going to put her at a D because, like, every shot, you have to click it, like, one time. And she's not that accurate because you have to move the joystick, the... L2, R2, move the aiming, and move yourself in one, and you just can't control it. And her skills, if you miss them, I tried them, the tornado doesn't work for me, and everything's just horrible about her, in my opinion. So disclaimer, this is all about my opinion, and it's not a professional tier list, although um, maybe you guys want to see my opinion. So let's start with um, Nightcap on the plant side. For me, um, since the nerf, he has been like mid A or B because um, he just can't like maneuver as quick. Like he's not as mobile. He doesn't um, sneak out consistently because there's a cooldown before you can sneak double time, so I feel like at this point in the game, since others have been buffed, I'm gonna put her at a B because her shadow sneak's just not working anymore. Feng Fu has such a long start, and you often get killed before, so he she's a B. Um, Oak and Acorn definitely still an S because if you join Oaks or like um have two acorns or one or more 
on the oak, then you can just keep healing. He has a super sap trap. And the acorn above can just keep shooting, and it's really powerful. Similarly to the space cadet, like, once you join up, you're super strong, and you're a unit that can heal, like, every time. So, in that case, oh, it's gonna be an S. Snapdragon, this is controversial, but I feel like since he's getting a buff in the November patch, he's probably gonna get an A rank because his um blue fire has more lock on, his fire has less cooldown, um, also the um, swoop slam is easier to control now, and I feel like he's... A unique but really good character so that's why I'm putting that an A now let's do cactus in my opinion cactus is um, a B also because although she's like really good this game with the new sniping technique um, I feel like she's dropping off in terms of the R1 because like against computers when you hover they can still shoot you easily and often it doesn't even help you escape it's slower than a sprint so yeah i feel like that's why actually nightcap may be even a c due to the new update you know why because in the new update if you get hurt like you can't shadow sneak and you can't like run away it will be like normal speed, so. Okay. Um, and yeah, so maybe he's, she's even a C at this point with the new update. I'm just trying to see like who else depends on like running away. Yeah, others are fine. Actually, Acorn may be down to an A because of the same reason. Because when you have to escape the O, you need to run as fast as possible. And if you like get shot, you can't sprint, so maybe an A. Now, Chomper, same reason, Suicide Bomb, so D. Really no skill in playing Chomper. You just, unless you actually are good at Chomper, you just have to dig and then eat someone up and then try to suicide bomb and get as many kills in one life. Citron, in the other hand, S. Controversial, but I'm gonna put him at an S. Because in the new update, um, he's getting a buff. His bullets are really smooth to play with. And his... Triangle is basically an insta kill. The naval laser is also an insta kill or even double kill if you aim properly. And the EMP is really is really good for stunning. He can have like that shield that which is like two hundred three hundred health. It's real. He's really easy to level up. So when you level up, you get the different skills that are like vital for him to be like super good. So that's why I'm putting that an S. Corn. Uh, I'm gonna put him at a C for now because he hasn't been performing as the soldier did because his damage is still the same. His rate of fire like doesn't change that much since the last update. And he's not getting a new buff. Um of course, the husk cop's still OP, but like I feel like there's some bugs with it. So if they fix it, he's maybe a B. But he hasn't gotten major changes. Like it hasn't really affected how good he was. P shooter. I'm gonna put him at an S for now, just because um once you level him up and to a certain point you'll get an upgrade that makes, like, all his bullets, like, insta-hit. Like, it gets locked on, so once you shoot a bullet, it's basically guaranteed to hit the zombie. So that's why I feel like that's gonna be too overpowered. They maybe have to nerf him 
but they're not. So for the November patch update, he's probably going to be one of the best plants on there. Rose, you guys don't really like the rose because, like, personally, I do. So I'm going to put her at maybe a B because she also kind of depends on running away with the Arcane Enigma. But she still has, like, that lock on, which is really good. But I guess, like, the Jinx doesn't really do anything anymore because... Um, the previous time snare was much better because it affected like a whole radius but um, the rose now is just one bullet that stuns like just the abilities for a few seconds sunflowers I, I feel like she's gonna be a C I mean she's like S in support but in general her rate of fire has been slowed down and she's not doing as much um, work as an attacker. She's mostly just a healer for support, and she doesn't really um deserve to be like B or A. So I think, yeah, that's gonna be it for the tier list part. But I'm gonna list my top three favorite from each plant and zombie side, not based on how good they are, but based on what I like to play, I guess. Um, so my top three is gonna be um, first, obviously, I like Nightcap's my buddy. Nightcap's my buddy, he's my favorite character. I don't really care if he's good or not, I'll still play him like if he got like buffed. I mean, nerfed into like the worst character. I would still play him. I would still play him because he's my buddy, and I really like him. Not just as like a character, but like also like how he looks, how his bullets are smooth, and also he's been like nerfed because you can't snipe from distances now. So you have to go forward and. You won't be able to run away because you're so up close. But, yeah. So, I'm still gonna play him, but maybe not as much as before. But, I still like him as my favorite one. Um, my second main is probably... Um, Acorn. Because he's really good as the Oak, and... Invoke Oak is really good of a skill. It takes the cooldown like 20 seconds or 10 seconds, which is like barely anything. So he's still overpowered, I feel like. Um, I'll have to test him out after the November patch. And controversial, but my third favorite is Cetron. Because I feel like his pulp is like so it's like um smooth projectiles and he's good in general not much to say about him he's a tank he's good for defending bases not m as much for like attacking and going forward but like if you're defending a base then citron's probably be probably the perfect plant for that either acorn or citron so i think that's gonna be it for this tier list make sure you like comment subscribe and check out my other videos share it to your friends so um they can watch it as well and as always bye!